Hello everyone and welcome to another MI Gardener official product review. Hopefully you all are going to enjoy this episode. I know I am because I've been in the search for a really good quality pruners, that ones that you don't have to sharpen af after one use, ones that don't have the spring pop off and break or all that kind of stuff, ones that are uncomfortable for your hands. So hopefully this is going to meet my expectations. I just opened it out of the box and we are going to be reviewing today the Kate's Garden 8 inch bypass pruners. So I want to first talk about the uh, basically the, the overall look first and some things about the product. First thing, a huge benefit and a huge note is a 10 year warranty. 10 years on this baby. This is a great quality product. I mean, if you're, if you're talking about certain things that need a warranty, I would highly suggest a pruner being one of those because it's something that I, I use a lot at least. And it's something that I've gone through so many cheap ones that I'm sick and tired of it. And if I can find a good quality one where, peop, where the company is willing to stand behind it for 10 years, it's worth my money. The next thing I'm going to talk about is the quality of the metal. This is SK5 high carbon steel, and that is a really good quality steel. It's not going to chip, it's not going to break, and it's really going to hold up to branches. I will make a note that the blades, thank you, thank you first of all, Kate's Garden, for adding a super heavy nut and bolt onto the blades. I cannot tell you how many times the blades have come loose and they become wobbly. The, the different blades here, they kind of meet, you know, when they cut. And I cannot tell you how many times they've kind of gone wobbly on me and that really affects the cutting power. Another thing is the ergonomic design. Huge plus for the ergonomic design and the grippy handle because it helps me hold on and it also is really nice to hold. It's got kind of a palm swell almost where the handle kind of, the bottom of the handle kind of flares out and it, uh, and it actually has, I just discovered, a really nice locking mechanism so that it not only is a, a nice palm swell when it's closed, but it also locks conveniently as well. And there's nothing that's going to get jammed because I have a couple of pairs of pruners that I absolutely hate where it's almost like, uh, it's like a little lock up here. And I can not tell you how many times I've been, I've been trimming and the, the little lock drops down and all of a sudden I go to open, it's like, ah, oh, wait, why is it stuck? And then I have to take time to do that. This is great. This opens up uh, really well on its own. The, the spring is a really good quality spring that's not gonna come popping out, which I like. It also, like I said, has the grippy handle, which is something that I rarely see on pruners. They're usually just one solid piece of plastic. So that's a plus on this. Also, another thing is that the, uh, the cutting blade is actually reinforced. I've seen so many times where regular cutting blades are just one little piece of metal and they just rely on the, the gliding action from the one blade. This actually has a little blade reinforcement that really kind of uh, adds extra, extra friction to help the blade cut through the piece of wood, which is a really nice feature. That's a really nice touch as well. All right, so before we start, I wanted to talk about this little locking mechanism. There you go. See, check that out. That way when it's up, it's out of the way, it's not gonna fall down. And it actually, you have to actually, you have to actually do it yourself. It's not going to do it on accident. That's not gonna fall down and prevent you from cutting. So I really like how that just kind of gets out of the way. Um, and then when you wanna close it, there you go. So we're actually gonna cut some of these branches right here. This is probably about the thickest branch I could find. Um, and also some of these things over here, cause those are of the, of the thickness that they recommend um, kind of going up to. So this can cut up to three quarters of an inch, which is really impressive for a pair of pruners. And we're gonna try that out now. So I'm going to just cut some small stuff. I really like how it's cutting through. It has a nice snapping action. So it kind of, it, it's almost like a, a little, almost like a, a, a boost through. It kind of cuts slow and then when it gets close, it kind of just snaps it and really finishes the cut clean. So you're getting a lot of clean cuts. It's not really snapping. And so that's a really nice feature that it gets really clean cuts, which it should because it's new. But again, thicker stuff, we just went through a thicker, a little thicker branch and that just pops right through, not a problem. Oh man, this is getting, uh, this is getting to be kind of exciting because I have not had a nice pair of pruners in a very long time. So we've got this branch here and this is about three quarters of an inch. We're gonna give this a cut here and see if we can make it through. Oh. Oh goodness. Okay. It definitely takes a lot of work to cut that. Oh man. Um, I would not say 
that it can cut three quarters of an inch uh, because this is, that's definitely, that's definitely three quarters of an inch. Uh, and it's really struggling for that. Um, it's still a great quality cut. It's just, it doesn't have enough cutting power to really cut through that. Cause that's, that's definitely, yep. Cause see, here's my, here's my knuckle here. And my, I measured my knuckle cause I use it for measurement all the time. My knuckle is exactly one inch. And so it's only coming to about here on my knuckle, the branches. So it's definitely three quarters of an inch um, or right around there. And uh, I can't quite cut through this. Now again, I would probably just get a pair of larger loppers for this type of job. I really don't need a pair of hand pruners to cut through something this thick uh, because that's just, to be honest, kind of wishful thinking in my opinion. Um, but we're gonna, we're gonna keep trying. I mean, I'm gonna keep cutting. There, I can feel it coming now. Ah, there we go. Okay, so we were able to finally cut through and uh, that actually cut through pretty cleanly, but it took way more effort than I probably wanted, wanted to exert. However, the blades are still really nice and sharp. As you can see, the blades are still very sharp not any, there's no warping or beveling in the, the blade. And uh, that's really nice to see. Again, that's that SK5 carbon, uh, high carbon steel there. That's really kind of coming through for you. But again, that was, that was a bit of a challenge. So um, that, was, that, was, that was pretty rough. Um, but let's try down here. You got some other, uh, some other not as ridiculous branches that I think are much more doable. Oh yeah. Check that out. Okay, we're gonna cut off a little branch here. Check this out. So again, super clean cut, super clean cut for what you're, what you're wanting, especially if you're cutting stuff like fruit trees, because fruit trees, you need that nice little clean cut so that it can uh, scab over properly. So I really like that that is just a absolutely almost flawless cut through. So that's a huge plus there. Um, so now the last thing we're going to do is we're going to rate it. So let's go do that. All right, so we are back with Kate's Garden 8 inch bypass pruners. Overall, I really love these. I don't mind that it couldn't cut through that, that three quarters inch. They do say that it could cut through three quarters of an inch, but let's put it this way. There's different densities of wood. Um, and so Sometimes people can say, oh yeah, I can go up to three quarters of an inch, but they, they really tried it on the softest of woods. And so some of that stuff back there, it's a lot harder of a wood, it's a lot more dense. And uh, so obviously I was putting it to its test onto what it could do. It really was a struggle. So I, I wouldn't say it cuts all three quarters of an inch, but it definitely cut through it. So with a, with a lot of effort, you can cut through three quarters of an inch. I do love, I do love the ergonomic, grippy design, great feel on the hands, huge plus on the lock. The lock is a great bonus, and a lot of people probably think, wow, that's not a weird, that's a weird bonus, but the fact that it just gets out of the way and you don't have to worry about it flipping down and locking on you while you're doing your jobs, I'm already working at a nice hot pace here. I'm already dripping sweat. I don't wanna have to fiddle with a lock going back and forth, cause then I just get aggravated. And then people around me are like, man, this guy is really aggravated. So it keeps my temper at a minimum when the lock just gets out of the way. So that's a huge plus, thank you for that. Another thing is the blades. I love that they did not bevel or uh, bend. I, I did a lot of cutting, more than uh, I typically normally would, and, uh, and they held up great. So that's awesome. I will continue to use these, and if anything happens to them other than other than what I've noticed today, I will give you an update on the quality if anything happens to it. However, as of now, I'm going to have to give these a five out of five. I absolutely love these. These are the best pair of pruners I have. Great quality. Again, that nut and bolt on the blade is such a great touch. Oh my goodness, that's a great touch because it really just keeps the blade super close. So that friction, that cutting power, just is nothing is wasted on your energy, which is also another great feature. Um, and and again, you know, just the the price point is so uh, it's so great. I got these for $15, believe it or not, 15 bucks for a pair of printers. It's just unheard of. 
um, shipping was 350. So 350 and uh, and 15 bucks. You're looking at 1850 all all around. Definitely worth its money. Highly would suggest getting these. I definitely will uh, will give them a five out of five because of that fact. Um, you know, again, I would just get loppers for what I was trying to do for three quarters of an inch, but. It is one of those things where, um, you know, Kate's Garden, if you're watching, I would probably not say three quarters of an inch because uh, it definitely can't cut all three quarters of an inch as we saw, but still a great product, still five out of five, and uh, I would highly recommend getting this. And so hopefully you all enjoyed. This is Luke from the My Gardener channel, hoping you all are growing big or going home, and I'll catch you all later. See ya, bye.